Captain Optimist is uh, exactly like the uh, name portrays. He's very optimistic. His only power is the power to make people happy by shooting good vibrations at them. Captain Optimist with his happy cap, with a, which is a beanie with a propeller. Unfortunately, he is so optimistic and sugary that people want to brain him with a nine iron. But he means well. Uh, a co-creator, uh, TM Maple from Canada and Alan Freeman. And I was eventually brought in around issue two to, uh, to ink on it and also issue three and then in issue four and five Alan and I kind of changed roles where I would design and pencil it and he would do the inking on it. And Susan Dorn up in, from Connecticut would do the lettering on it and that was the complete Captain Optimus team. Well actually this is going to be the Captain Optimus special number one which will be square bound and approximately 84 pages but uh, Ellen and I decided to bring back Captain Optimus. Uh, unfortunately TM passed away in 1994 but before he did I, I promised him that we would try to carry on with with Captain Optimus and one of the things the big things was that uh, TM never wrote an origin for Cap and uh, just before his death he and I talked about creating an origin for him. So uh, unfortunately, TM passed away before he saw the script that I came up with. But uh, I know if he's looking down on us, I think he'll appreciate uh, what we're going to do with Cap. But pretty much it's, uh, it's his origin. Uh, and it's the special is a combination of issue five and six because uh, TM passed away before we finished uh, Crisis of the Apti uh, uh, Crisis of the Ultimate, Ultimate Caps, that's it. <laughs> well, I've been a commercial artist for over uh, 35, over 35 years. Uh, I graduated from the Art Institute of Pittsburgh and I've done work up north and down here in the, uh, the southern part of the United States for that long, uh, doing design, illustration, cartooning. Well, first of all, don't expect to get rich real quick, or even later. <laughs> it, it's a tough road, but as long as you enjoy what you're doing, money is secondary it'll the money will come eventually but uh, the important thing is is that you stay persistent and you keep working at your craft to improve and definitely try to keep up with the latest technology uh, especially since the computers came on the scene the technology is uh, rapidly changing like every every three to four or six months but uh, even though that allows a lot of speed to develop in doing comics and graphic novels and uh, commercial art, the computer doesn't have the life and energy of, uh, of a job that, that is done by hand the old traditional way. So there, there's good and bad with computers, but uh, especially in publishing, uh, computers have done a fantastic job. It has brought prices down, so the cost of printing something is affordable to everybody. And it gives you a little bit more of a competitive edge to uh, managing to put out more books than you normally would be able to. But uh, like any other career, it's what, it's what you put into it is what you get out of it. No, I, I would just uh, like to say that I hope people continue to support, to support small press because uh, I think that that's where most of the creative work is being done right now. Hal Foster, uh, I was drawn to him 
uh, when I was a very young young child. He did the Prince Valiant in the Sunday full color uh, comic section of the newspaper. Uh, Will Eisner, who uh, can not only he's not only a great artist, but he's a great writer. Uh, of course, uh, Dave Stevens, Mark Schultz, um, Adam Hughes. Jack uh, Kirby, Steve Ditko. I really loved like the early Marvel because it was so different. And, uh, their approach to comics was totally different from anything I've ever seen. And that was way back in the, the 60s. But now I think the most creative stuff is being done in, in the small press uh, end of it. Occasionally, uh, people like Terry Moore, who does Strangers in Paradise, show up in the uh, larger sections of the independent press. And Terry Woods, who did Wandering Star, which is excellently written and illustrated. Uh, but those people don't get near, near the exposure that they should compared to Marvel, and DC, and Image, and all that. But, uh, uh, the, you know, there's always somebody coming along to kind of shake things up, put a new slant, on the business so you know it's I think it's still going to be around for quite a while